What's up everybody on YouTube? How's everybody doing? I'm doing just fine. Doing awesome actually. So today, welcome to a Minecraft building tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial of this small little cottage. And I think it's going to be really cute and really fun. Thought I would share it with you guys. So let's hop right into it and let's get started. So on the ground, as you can see, is the layout for the building. You're going to want to put this in your world of where you're going to build it. And uh, once you've done that, then you'll be ready to build the building. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stack up these logs right here in the front, two blocks high from the layout. Next, you want to stack up all the corner ones, meaning these ones here, to a three block height. Next, these ones in the back, you want to stack up to a two block height. For the one on the outer part here, hanging like all the way out here, <laughs> you want to stack up to a two block height. So if once you've stacked up all your blocks, we're going to want to connect them. So this is what we do pretty much for every single building tutorial. We're going to do this one here. We're just going to build a little uh, kind of like sideways log going like so. Same for over here, but it's only going to be two blocks like that and same on the other side. Don't put anything here yet, we're going to do something with it later. On the back part, do two blocks like this, so it goes to this log, and do two blocks like this, it's like so, so there's nothing in the middle on top of this log. Next, go on the side where the fireplace is going to be, and trim off the back logs like this. Next, go all the way around to like these little corner parts, and add upside down half slabs in between like so. So it kind of looks like this then. You can even add them here even though there's nothing to it for it to connect. Actually you can add a stone brick on top of these logs like so and so it just looks a little better because those will be there later on. For those middle parts you're gonna add a little stair on top of those, the same as for the other side. For the inside here of the house, you're going to want to add two oak wood blocks, like so. Next, add some stone brick going all the way around. Just bring up the layout pretty much. Uh, for this side here, add a nice little row of oak planks. You're going to do that one more time on top of that. In the front, you're going to want to add some dark oak wood stairs going like so. So next we're going to do the frames, so this one is basically like this, and it goes up two, three, and then another two, I think? Yeah, it's, it has to be two. So, uh, what we're going to do for this side, we're just going to do it for this side because we're going to have a fireplace on this side, and if we do it on that side, it's going to get a little bit of confusing. So let's just do it for this side for now. Um, so we're going to stack up two blocks on either side on top of these half slabs, then go up three blocks go up another two blocks and just connect it all up with another three blocks on either side of which you stacked. Now as I said we could do it on this side but it's gonna get a little confusing because the fireplace is on this side and we're just gonna wait to do that in time. So now we can start by doing the frames of the uh, little windows in the front which are the I think the main feature of the house and really cool. So let's do stack up two blocks like so. So two blocks on this half slab here next to the two blocks that you just stacked up on that frame and you're gonna do two blocks like so next to the stair in the middle and then you're gonna do another two blocks like so nothing too complicated just that basic two block up and down you're gonna do it on the on the little part next to it like so and we're gonna do it one more time we're gonna do it on the back we're gonna do two blocks next to that wood do it another do it again and do it once more, like so. So the back and the front are really similar. Alright, so let's start by doing the fireplace part of it now. We're not going to be doing the interior part of the fireplace. We're just going to be doing this exterior. So I'm going to grab my blocks real quick. So you don't have to use this andesite that I have in this fireplace. You can use whatever. You can actually just use stone brick. I just put the andesite in there just to break up the pattern of the stone brick. It makes it look a little bit nicer. But as I said, you could put like cobblestone, anything really like, you know, that would match. So we put stone brick here earlier. 
uh, actually andesite is supposed to go here uh, and polish andesite but you don't have to put that so I'm actually going to just put stone brick for right now and just uh, save the confusion so let's start by doing the bottom portion of it let's bring it out one block like this so one strip of stone brick and then we're going to put stone bricks on either side like so next we're going to put right here a top half slab of stone brick next two stairs either side of these stairs like so stone brick in the middle and then you're going to have a stone brick stair like so next another row of stone brick like that so this is where it gets a little bit tricky what we're going to do is, is we're going to put stone bricks on either side like so a regular stair in the middle and then you can do an upside down stair like this and do another regular stair on either side of that upside down stair then you're gonna go right here and do an upside down stair on either side like so okay so you're now what you're gonna do is you're gonna put a full block and you're gonna do a regular stair and then you're gonna do a regular stone brick and then you're gonna go up a little bit do an upside down stair so these two stairs kinda go into this block here and then two stone brick, regular stone bricks like so. Okay, and then what you're gonna do on either side of these half slabs here is what we're gonna do is we're gonna put andesite on either side. As I said, I'm just gonna put andesite here, but you can put like cobblestone or anything. Uh, so you can even put stone brick if you want. Now I'm gonna do my logs or my frames, and I'm gonna do an oak uh, wood uh, log like so, or an oak dark oak log. <laughs> And then I'm going to stack up three. And as you can see, it all equals up. So it's just this part here is just replaced with a um, with a uh, with the stone brick instead of it being uh, the logs. So this roof is pretty simple and pretty basic. Um, it's nothing too complicated. Like our last tutorial that we did of this roof, this roof was uh, pretty, you know, not too hard, but it was pretty complicated in the sense that we had those you know, full blocks and we had to make slopes and resemble a roof pretty well. But this roof here is pretty basic. I mean, it's nothing too complicated. And I might do most of it off camera, uh, depending on how I edit it. But what we're going to do is basically start off by doing these little uh, oak wood stairs and then a dark oak stair like that. Um, you can actually just place an oak dark oak stair like so. And then you're going to do a full block like this. And then you're going to do uh, dark oak stairs. So basically what we're doing is, is we're just bringing it up to the height of which the roof, uh, you know, goes up to. So we're just bringing full blocks up and then a stair right before that top block. So what we're going to do is, is since now we don't have, we, this is covered and everything. It's got this frame right here. Is we're not going to put a stack of full blocks. We're just going to put a stair going across. And then for the next one, we're going to put full blocks like this. And we're going to do that going all the way across. So I'm going to stop here with the blocks. And then I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to go and put the full blocks in. And then do the stairs like this. Okay? So it kind of leaves us with that. For these little parts here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a full block of dark oak like this. And then I'm going to add a... Um, well, I'm going to add this uh, oak block like that and then I'm gonna add like a slab here so let me grab that and this is just for the front part the front part is kind of tricky so that's why I'm showing it to you so same thing here I'm just gonna do uh, what I did I'm gonna mimic this there we go and then once you have that uh, kind of shape down I'm gonna put slabs on top of these as well and once you have this kind of shape down uh, with the uh, whole roof, then you can start doing your oak uh, wood stairs. You could like doing your trim is what we call it in building. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an upside down stair here. It might look a little bit weird, but um, it looks good in the end once you do it all together. So, and then I'm going to do an upside down stair here and uh, stair on top of that facing outward like that. Regular stair. And instead of doing a full block, I do the upside down stair. And this just gives the uh, the roof a little bit more shape. And the trim is supposed to be fancy, so that's why it's not like a full block. I'm going to do the same thing over here. There we go. 
and I'll do an upside down stair where that full block would be, and then go like this. And then that's how we get that shape. So pretty cool. So for these big parts here, these uh, big uh, side parts, I'm just going to do uh, a upside down stair on the bottom part here, and a full block, and then a stair. Like that. So these big parts, I'm just that's what I'm going to do. And then I'll do right here, is I'll just come up like this. Pretend I did the whole roof, because <laughs> this is going to take a little bit. And right here, same thing, where this full block would be, I would do a, uh, you know, a stair. So, uh, obviously, since I don't have, like, you know, a weird stair to put here, I'm just going to put a full block. And that just works perfectly fine. Alright, and then for the same thing over here, I'm just going to do it like this. So, nothing too complicated. Full block, and then the stair. And then I'm going to do a dark oak wood stair like that, and then bring it around. So that's the basically the outer part of it, and that's the only tricky part. And uh, I'm going to put an upside down stair like that, and that's kind of the shape that you get with that. So that's uh, pretty, you know, pretty pretty simple. And uh, what, when we're done, we're just going to top it off with the uh, the regular stair like that. Alright, so now we're going to come to the inside because it's missing some gaps here that we need to fill in. Obviously we have the fireplace, but it's just not ready to for a living. <laughs> so what we're going to do here is, this is what you should have. Uh, I've, I've took it in the liberty of, uh, you know, doing the roof off camera. Just because of the simple fact that it does take a little bit to do. And it's pretty simple. I mean, it's nothing too complicated. I think you guys will be able to get it and just connect everything up. Uh, what I did here is, is I basically, in the middle of this, uh, you know how I, I left it like this? Well, what I did was is I took it and I just connected these two up and it looked a little bit better. So that's just something I just added on real quick. If you want to do it, you don't have to. But anyway, so if we go into the building here, uh, we're gonna what we're going to do here is we're going to add a oak wood stair like this in the front where the doorway is. And we're going to add a dark oak wood connecting this up like this. And this is actually going to go all the way up like this, like a beam supporting the entire building. And it's going. this beam is actually going to come all the way down like this. Next, for these back parts here, what we're going to do is, is we're going to add these oak wood stairs like this on the back part. Pretty simple. And on the side part here, we're just going to add an oak wood a uh, lot, or not dark oak wood. I keep saying oak wood, but it's dark oak wood. And we're just going to add some oak wood stairs like so. And a few like that. And this is where our window is going to go, actually. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go around the building and add the uh, the supports or whatever. What do you, you want to call them? Basically, they're like these little parts that kind of connect. So on the side, you want to do what I just did. You want to add these dark oak uh, wood like that. And then one right here, and one right here, and that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Now let's go around and add our windows. So windows in the front like this, windows in this in the little uh, down parts like that, and two in the back, and then there's there's that one up here like that. Now we're going to add our fireplace, and this fireplace uh, we're actually going to do the interior for, so yay. <laughs> so that was a little bit confusing. I put cobwebs here, you don't have to do that. It just adds for a little bit more of the effect of it being a fireplace. What I'm going to do here is at the top, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, stairs going like this. So they kind of all go into this little middle part here. And I'm going to add um, kind of like these little stone bricks that go down on either side of the roof just one block so it kind of makes it look like the it's going into the uh, to the roof gonna add a stone brick there with a uh, cobblestone wall and then a half slab on top of that and that creates the uh, little little funnel area where the you know not really a funnel but just the uh, area where the you know the smoke comes out of all right so this is how your fireplace should look on the interior we're gonna fix that with a few simple tricks and uh, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to add this nice little uh, furnace. I'm going to take out this row here. I'm going to add these two furnaces like so. You'd actually break out these two black blocks right here. And then you can add uh, stone brick stairs on top of the uh, uh, furnaces like so. Uh, two upside downs on top of that. And then we'll add a half slab in the middle. 
and we'll add a row of half slabs like this and a half slab in the middle of the two furnaces and that will be fireproof and uh, hopefully, hopefully that'll be fireproof. Hopefully uh, it doesn't burn down. I'm just kidding. <laughs> it should be fireproof um, because the other house doesn't burn down yet and I don't think the uh, little thing is on. And that's how you uh, just basically do that and it should be good to go. And um, I'm going to put Oak's half slabs like this going like so. And I'm going to leave a little four block thing like this. And you can add your staircase here. It just basically starts like this. And then you can go, wait, it starts like this. And then you can go up like this. And then I added some uh, oak or some logs going like that. And uh, and I added something back here. I might have added like a little thing like that. And that was the staircase. So yeah. There you go, and I added something like that, and, uh, from what I can remember. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the whole entire house. You can add a little door on as well of your liking. Um, personally, for this house, I like the uh, the this door here. Uh, it just looks a nice. Um, or what door did I choose? Oh, I, d I did a spruce door. Oh, interesting. I like this door because it matches the uh, dark the dark oak and it looks like cottagey so yeah uh, I like this door so but anyway so uh, that's gonna do it uh, for this tutorial hopefully you guys enjoyed it uh, this was a very cute little cottage uh, Minecraft keeps crashing that's why this tutorial is a lot longer than it should be um, but eh, then nevertheless it's uh, still good uh, you can always go back and watch my exterior design trips and my interior design trick chips and tricks on how to improve your interior and how to improve your exterior so make sure you go do that uh hopefully i'll be bringing out a let's build pretty soon uh but as always don't forget to be awesome and i will see you guys next time Bye bye <laughs>